If you enjoy this video or learn something, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, and pass it on. It's the Global History Show with Mr. Benjamin. This episode, The Origin of Humans. Woo! Learning targets for this episode describe what anthropologists and archaeologists do. Explain how social scientists use revenant. Describe the revenant which support where Romans come from. Evaluate the theory Romans evolved from hominid. The history lecture doesn't start for two hours. You're early, man. The social sciences study people and include history, geography, anthropology, archaeology, economics, political science, sociology, and psychology. Social scientists analyze evidence to discover what the evidence can tell them about people. They follow the evidence to discover the truth. Social scientists try to find as many different types of evidence as they can on the subject they are studying. The people who study early humans are anthropologists and archaeologists. Anthropology is the social science which studies the origin and development of human culture. Archaeologists are a subcategory of anthropology and they study physical remains and artifacts or objects made by people. Tools, weapons, pottery, clothing, jewelry. Social scientists use what they know about a subject to make a hypothesis or an educated guess. When the evidence corroborates or supports the same hypothesis, the strength of the hypothesis is greater. If the evidence does not agree, the hypothesis is weaker. Hypotheses that are strong and are not disproven over time become a theory. Humans evolved from early animals we call hominids. We share many characteristics with hominids. However, our ancestors changed through random mutation and natural selection. The explanation of human origins comes from Charles Darwin and his theory of natural selection. Natural selection is part of the theory of evolution. Natural selection is that those with the genetic traits that are most adaptive or fit to their environment have the best chance to survive and have babies, thus passing their genetic traits to the next generation. Those whose genetic traits are less adaptive are more likely to die. Dead animals do not have babies, and so these less adaptive traits are less common in the next generation. In this way, a species can change over time if a species changes enough, they may become a new species. Humans did not evolve from monkeys or from chimpanzees. Our lines of descent split from a common ancestor one million years ago. That is, chimpanzees had not evolved yet either. We evolved from an animal which evolved from an animal, uh, which evolved from an animal, which evolved from an animal, and so on that monkeys and chimpanzees also evolved from, humans' scientific name is Homo sapiens sapiens. We know humans evolved from hominids because of four different lines of evidence. One, evidence of changes in other species that we can observe and manipulate over time. Two, the pattern of development of all creatures from conception to birth. Three, the fossil record. And four, by comparing differences between human genes and genes of other animals, including those of our ancestors. The evolutionary process can be seen in other animal species. We can even alter the genetic makeup of species by selectively breeding, making some traits more common 
and other traits less common. We have bred chickens with oversized breast muscles because breast meat is more popular than leg or wing meat. We can track the fossil remains of many animals, like lions and tigers, and see that their species diverged to form two distinct species. Another line of evidence of basic evolutionary processes is found in the development of every animal from conception to birth. In the womb, animals progress through the evolutionary stages that their species has followed. As human babies develop, they form gills and webbed fingers, a tail forms, and then these evolutionary remnants of our long past evolutionary ancestors disappear. The fossil record refers to the trail left over time of physical remains from past species and early humans. That is, their bones and for some, their tools. In 1959, two archaeologists, Mary and Louis Leakey, found pieces of bone embedded in ancient soil at Old Dubai Gorge in the Great Rift Valley, Tanzania. Tanzania is in East Africa. These bones were from animals that were not humans, but shared many of the same traits and were found in layers of soil that are older than those the earliest humans remains were found in. That means they came before humans. As more bones were found, evidence of an evolutionary record could be pieced together one hominid evolving into another, which evolved into another, giving evidence of many related species or branches on an evolutionary tree. In 1974, an archeologist named Donald Johansson found the oldest hominid skeleton discovered to that point in Ethiopia, Africa. He named it Lucy after the Beatles song that was playing on the radio when the first bones of the animal were found. Scientific name, Australopithecus afarensis. In 1994, even older remains of hominids were found. Artie, Artipithecus. Artie lived 4.4 million years ago. Lucy walked on two feet, like we do. She had the brain about the size of a chimpanzee's, which is much smaller than a human brain. Lucy stood at about three and a half feet tall. We do not know if Lucy was hairy like a chimpanzee or mostly hairless like humans. Hair does not survive decomposition as bone can. The fossil record can then be traced through many varied species of human-like creatures from Lucy and similar evolutionary relatives evolved from many other species. 1.9 million years ago, Homo erectus emerged. Homo erectus was much more like humans, but still not human. Homo erectus spread out of Africa, used fire, and developed tools, though they were not the first of our ancestors to use tools. Homo erectus had collective learning, or the accumulation of learning over generations. Many other species evolved from Homo erectus, including Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens sapiens. Neanderthals emerged 400,000 years ago and died off 28,000 years ago. Homo sapiens sapiens, humans, emerged as species 200,000 years ago in Africa. Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens sapiens all emerged in Africa and spread to Europe and Asia. The animals that we evolved from are dead extinct. Our closest living relatives are chimpanzees, bonobos, the great apes, and they are way distant cousins. We have discovered many remains of closer relatives to humans, many of whom overlapped with humans living at the same locations at the same time. Neanderthals lived throughout Europe, the Middle East, East Asia, and North Africa. A Neanderthal could pass for human if dressed up in modern clothing. They were more stocky and shorter, with bigger noses and a forehead that stuck out. They had bigger brains than humans, too. They used compound tools cooked with fire, made cave paintings, 
lived in cooperative communities, buried their dead, and believed in an afterlife. Neanderthals emerged before humans, and their existence as a species lasted longer than humans have. Humans later moved into the same places and interacted and interbred with Neanderthals. It is likely that Neanderthals went extinct in part because humans hunted many of the animals Neanderthals ate to extinction, like the woolly mammoth and the giant sloths. Neanderthals were also under environmental pressure from oscillation of ice ages and warming periods. More recently discovered are the Homo sapiens species Denisovans that also lived alongside humans. Just see the flock of mammoths outside? I haven't seen that many in a stone's age. Heard. What? Heard of woolly mammoth. Of course I heard of mammoths. They haven't been hunted to extinction yet. Scientists have mapped the genes of both Denisovans and Neanderthals, and we can see what genes we have in common and what genes are different. Denisovans have more genes in common with Neanderthals than do humans. We can also trace the tools made and used by hominids and other evolutionary relatives. We can study how the tools have changed over time and trace the emergence and evolution of species by examining the changes in the tools. Among the tools our ancestors made are stone cutting tools, tools for crushing bone, and hand axes. Over time, and as we get closer to humans, the tools become more complex and specialized. As our ancestors made tools, their brains and bodies evolved to make better tools. Tool use made it possible to access more meat and bone marrow, which are richer sources of nutrients than previous used food sources. Better food meant bigger bodies, bigger, better brains. Both bones and tools can be dated in multiple ways, one of the best of which is carbon-14 dating. All living things take in carbon-14. When things die, they stop taking in carbon-14. Carbon-14 changes into nitrogen-14 at a constant rate. So by comparing the ratio of carbon-14 to nitrogen-14 in formerly living material, we can tell how old it is. Dating objects in the same layer of soil can give a date to non-living material like stone tools. By comparing the genes of different bones found in different parts of the world at different times, anthropologists and archaeologists can see when different groups branched off from others and eventually formed new species. Many people have sent a sample of their genes into companies which analyze their genes and tell them where in the world their ancestors lived. This is like that, except with a much longer time frame. The genetic evidence can be compared and contrasted with the fossil record. We can even use the genome genetic makeup of our ancestors to give clues to their behavior. We can look at differences in genes and see when one group stopped having contact with another group and when groups came back into contact again. We have even found a very small amount of Neanderthal genes in people today. Well, that's it for our show. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. A Tyrannosaurus Rex? Ah! Side note, dinosaurs went extinct long before the evolution of the very first hominid. It's a... If you enjoy this video or learn something, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, and pass it on. Dinosaurs went extinct long before the evolution of the very first hominid. No human being has ever seen a live dinosaur.